Good morning, my name is Jennifer. I'm going to present the research that was done by the student Laís dos Santos Pacheco. She's a master's student orientated by the professor Kerli Santos Alves and professor Vera Lucy de Miranda Guarda. The theme of the presentation, the research, is gender intersectionality in recycling. First, they brought the concept of recyclable materials collectors, that is, people that collect, select, and sell recyclable materials, paper, cardboard, glass, furious and non furious materials, and other reusable materials. Uh, this profession is recognized by Brazilian Occupation Code number 519205. Uh, the profile, the profile of this class of employees in Brazil, was also tracked, and in the majority we have women, seventy-five percent, and more specifically, black ones. Uh, reflection of numerous inequalities accumulates that together make it difficult for a black women to enter the formal sector. Are first, elements of gender, race class inequalities, limitations of the sexual division of labor, difficulties of double working hours. So we can see that this profile explains its majority presence in the traditional informal market, often in trades market by precariousness and in practices that propose a new labor dynamic, such as association and comparatives. The approach to address the challenge. This study was proposed to analyze how women enter and remain in a mostly female recycling association in a city localized at southwest of Brazil, called Douro Preto, in Minas Gerais. Furthermore, the possibility of developing training courses for waste pickers was also considered based on their demands in order to develop their potential and fill some gaps. The key finds of the research work. It was possible to verify the direct relationship that exists between gender roles and informal work. Some women do, do the sexual division of work and the consequent obligations with domestic work end up absent from the labor market for many years, causing many to only seek paid work after a, a certain age, which together with the lack of previous experience makes it more difficult for them to enter the formal field. Others, especially black women and from lower social class here, we can see that the race is a very important subject when we are talking about this topic, need to start working outside the home at a very young age, which often makes them have to leave education aside. The low level of education, together with the historical inequalities faced by this group, also makes it difficult for them to enter the formal labor market. In addition to the difficulties of insertion, the permanence of women in informal jobs also permits gender relations. This can be seen from the high male turnover in recycle cooperatives. Most men live due to the absence of fixed salary labor rights and a formal contract in the association, in addition to the intense workload. That way, when they get a job opportunity in the formal job market, they accept. Why a woman, even when similar opportunities arise, refuse and remain in the association? According to the waste pickers, this is because due to the lack of a formal bond, the association accepts better when they have to miss work to solve family problems, such as taking children to the doctor, for example, a function that's still very much associated with a female in the figure. This flexibility, despite providing women's insertion in the productive sphere, is at the same time one of the mechanisms responsible for women's precarious work conditions. As they end up having to accept more precarious conditions in order to reconcile productive work with the reproductive one. So, how are these findings related to the summit's tale? Due to majority presence of women in the recycling sector, 
in the context of the COVID-19 pandemic. These way speakers are exposed in different ways. First, one of them is in relation to the context of your work. The recyclable materials collected by collected may be contaminated, representing a high risk to those who will handle them. In addition, the economic effects of the pandemics are also more worrying for those inserted in the informal sector, such as recyclable material collectors. Without guaranteed labor and social rights, the situation of these workings is even more problematic, whether to the lack of income resulting from the interruption of their service or treat to their health and life when they continue work. Thus, it becomes increasingly necessary to discuss measures capable of assuring rights and guaranteeing the safety of this part of the population. So here are the pictures reference. Thank you very much for your attention. I would like to invite you all for our seminar, our seminar of um, water and gender that's going to happen in August 26th, um, 12 o'clock, according to Mexico time. Thank you so much. Bye.